Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be analyzing more polls in key states, specifically Sunbelt states and Wisconsin, to see if Trump has a chance to win them. So without further ado, before we get started guys, please like this video down below and subscribe. AOC has gained around 200 subs since we've been uh, competing with her, even though she hasn't uploaded in a year, and I honestly wonder why that is, is it leftists that are... Uh, mad at me that are subbing to her or what's going on with her channel, but we're kind of getting behind here. So please subscribe, make sure to turn the bell of notifications on before we get started as well. But now let's dive deep into the polls. We'll start in the Sunbelt state of Nevada. Now you guys need to be using statespoll.com. They got 2016 right because they analyzed every single poll and saw exactly what was inside of the poll, what happened, and how that would have an impact on the state. It's also kind of a similar method to what I used where I was able to almost get the map right completely. And these guys take the polls that the mainstream media puts out and just look inside of it, weighted by party ID and stuff to see what the real numbers actually are. And they were almost dead on in 2016, dead on in the Senate and governor races in the midterms, a little off in the House races, but those are a little hard to gauge anyways. So before we get started, uh, we'll look at what the polls said of the actual polls. These polls had Biden up by eight in Nevada, Sanders up by four in Nevada, Buttigieg up by one, and Warren up by two in Nevada. However, they adjusted the polls by party ID, looked at trends, looked at undecided voters, and adjusted it by that. Biden was just beating Trump by two points in Nevada. Sanders was beating Trump by two points. Trump was beating Buttigieg by three in the state of Nevada as well. And I believe this was supposed to say Warren. Trump is also beating Warren. Uh, in the state by two percentage points. So Trump is well within striking distance in Nevada. Democrats usually overperform the polls in Nevada. At least they've done that for the few cycles. However, it's not necessarily like the state is too far away for Trump to get. Is it a main priority? Not necessarily. But it does seem to look like the fact that Donald Trump has a chance. I think he would beat Warren there. I think he could beat Buttigieg. When it's all said and done, I think he'd beat Sanders in the state. Biden's going to be a little difficult Biden has more of a suburban type of audience in terms of the Democrat primary, just like Clinton. I think he'll get similar turnout, and Trump will probably end up losing the state to Biden, maybe by one to two. But it's not necessarily a sure thing. Now, another state that I was really worried about was Georgia, saying Georgia could be one of those states that could flip for the Democrats, just like Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania snuck up on the Democrats last time. Georgia could sneak up on Republicans. However, these polls by Mason Dixon tell a little bit of a different story. They have Trump beating Biden by 7, Trump beating Sanders by 10, Trump beating Buttigieg by 9, and Trump beating Warren by 14 points. And honestly, looking at the surface of it, it seems like these are lofty numbers. I do expect Trump to win the state of Georgia, but even I'm saying it could be a 3-4 to four point win for Donald Trump. I don't think it would be a like a five to a six point margin like what it was last time, but these say he could get that Romney margin, eight point margin. I mean, that's roughly, I believe, what Bush got in 2000, 2004. That's a lofty margin. Georgia's never really been a super safe red state. It's gone Republican, but not necessarily by giant margins. But these margins look interesting. And when states poll weighted the polls demographics, they saw that Trump may have even a bigger edge. He's beating Biden by 11, beating Sanders by 13, beating Buttigieg by 12, and beating Warren by 17. Now, I don't trust these numbers. It is one poll. This could be an outlier. Very well could be an outlier poll. But it does show that Republicans very well could be in a good standing in a state that they really struggled in in 2018. If they win it by five, if they win it by six, they're definitely going to take back a couple of those House districts that they lost. Maybe Lucy McBath's seat will flip, which a lot of leftists in the comment section ridiculed me for saying that it could. But the Republicans even were able to win it in the Senate election. So if they put forward a good candidate, they very well could win with full turnout. Now we move on to the great state of Arizona. Now, as you see here, the poll results had Trump tied with Biden, beating Sanders by one, beating Buttigieg by three, and beating Warren by two. 
Now, states poll weighted it by demographics. Now, Trump beats Biden by 4%, roughly what he beat Hillary by. That very well could be the truth. And Trump's going to put more time and energy in Arizona. He could win by that margin. He'd have to sacrifice some resources. And I know he will. He's got the resource edge. A lot of people don't understand that he has the resource edge. Trump is also beating Bernie there by five. I actually think that he'll win uh, by more than that against Bernie. Buttigieg by seven and against Warren by six. So that's very well possibly what will happen in the state of Arizona. I think it's going to be a little bit closer than what the weighted polls say, but I do think Trump will win Arizona, probably like 48 to 46, 49, 47. Depends on what uh, impact Lincoln Chafee has. And honestly, Rhode Island could very well be in play. If Lincoln Chafee steals enough of like the Bernie bro Democrats in Rhode Island, if he's running for president, Trump might sneak up from behind and win the state of Rhode Island. I'm not, I don't think I'm being too out of line by saying that. I mean, the state trended 15 points in the Republican column in terms of the net margin last time. So it very well could trend in the Republican column again. And if it trends by, you know, 10 and then you have the Lincoln Chafee vote that breaks off and, and screws the Democrats over, if he does screw the Democrats over, well, honestly, that's going to hurt a big time. So if the Libertarian Party nominates Lincoln Chafee, they actually could uh, play spoiler in a state. And a lot of people aren't really watching this, but I definitely think Johnson played a big role in New Mexico. I don't think that Trump would have won it without Johnson, but the two-way polls had Trump losing by a few points. Uh, he could win it again. There was a poll that State's Poll analyzed as well on Nevada that had, or on New Mexico that had Trump down, but you never know. It's just one poll. I don't really trust the Georgia poll that has Trump up by, you know, 17 points over Warren. But anyways, guys, when they weighted these polls, it did show Trump had a little bit of an edge in the state of Arizona. Now, as for the Senate race, the poll had Mark Kelly over McSally. However, when they adjusted by party ID, it had McSally beating Kelly by less than 1%. Mind you, PPP was the people that took this poll. They were a Democrat internal polling. So they're going to skew left, just like Republican internal polls typically skew right. So they put out this poll showing Trump tied with Biden. That usually means Trump's ahead by Biden. So I definitely believe this margin. Trump will win the state of Arizona against Biden. No doubt, in my opinion, it's not a problem for Republicans in 2020 in terms of winning it right now. I do think it could be dangerous. I think it could get dangerously close. And States Poll does the county map. It has Maricopa as a toss-up. It has Yuma as a toss-up. I think Trump will win both of those counties narrowly. Maybe he will even gain in Yuma. And the margins in places like Prescott are going to be even higher. So we'll see when it's all said and done. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the state of Wisconsin. So for the state of Wisconsin, Fox News polled the state of Wisconsin showing Biden under 50%. Biden's beating Trump by five. Sanders beating him by four. Buttigieg beating him by one. And Warren beating him by two. So that's that's fairly a early poll estimate that shows Trump's within striking range. Last time around, Trump was not even within the margin of error in the state of Wisconsin, but that has now changed. Polls in Wisconsin show it's going to be a very tight race. It could be ground zero for Republicans. They need to win Pennsylvania. They need to win Wisconsin. They're going to win Michigan. They're going to have to do the Rust Belt thing again, and I definitely think Trump is going to do it. And when states poll adjusted the polls, Biden was beating Trump by one. Sanders was beating Trump by a hair. Buttigieg was also beating Trump by a hair, and Trump was beating Warren by 2%. A lot of undecided voters out there. I think Trump would win the state of Wisconsin when it's all said and done. I've said this again and again and again, and it's just one poll. Looking at the party ID, evangelical voters that might not have turned out in the midterm elections, definitely showing that Trump is within striking range. He's within the margin of error, and it definitely shows margin of error for subgroups showed that Fox News was roughly, you know, 4 to 5% in the margin of error. That would be enough to put him over Sanders, Buttigieg. That would be enough to put him over Warren if assuming that the margin of error would skew in the Democrats column like it, it has for every single poll in the state of Wisconsin and Michigan in 2016. It would put Trump roughly in an even race with Biden. And when all that dirt comes out, trust me, Trump is going to beat Biden in the state of Wisconsin because Biden is the most likely nominee at this point. So it relatively goes to show you that these margins, even in the polls, when you weight them, it shows Trump is in a very good standing in the Sun Belt. 
He might win Nevada. It looks like he's good in Georgia and Arizona so far. Wisconsin, it's just one poll. We know how the polls skew in the state of Wisconsin. He's definitely within striking range. And if Warren or Sanders gets nominated, I am almost going to guarantee you that Trump is going to win all four of these states, by the way. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment down below, like this video, and subscribe. Let's beat AOC in the sub count. I think we can do it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please join the Discord. Follow me on social media. Join the Patreon for exclusive content. Got my newsletters on there and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.